Cheating? Oh, hell no. Cheaters never win. Cheaters never prosper. Screw cheaters. <gasps> morning. What up? Good morning! Get out! Wake up! You're so f you're get so f out. You guys played the f***ing game. Get Act out. like you're sleeping. I'm playing the f***ing game. Get Look out. at- Who do you think this is going to? What do you think this shit's going to? Get out. I'm playing the f***ing game. Dude. Wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Like, at first of all, the guy on the couch, I seen his eyes open and he went back to pretending that he was asleep. He's like, you know what, I'm not gonna deal with this right now, I'm just gonna- <laughs> I feel bad for the guy that caught him. Even the pets were like, row, row, yo, there's someone here that ain't you, row. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I would say that they, they fell asleep and uh, he should have left hours ago and they accidentally fell asleep. But you know, it worked out because the guy caught him. Caught red-handed. Huh. Been calling his number, I've been going through it for a good minute. I leave work, she not picking up with her car here. But her car here, okay. Like I said, she don't even know I'm home either. Like I said, she wanna sit here and do all that. Be on that bullshit. No, no. Swear to God, I got me paying the phone bill. <gasps> Shit, bro, I know she be on bullshit. Yo, go up quietly. Surprise her. I don't think I should. So you on a, this what you doing while I'm at work? Ooh. This what you doing while I'm at work? What? The, this what's going on while I'm at what work? What are you doing? This is what's going on? <gasps> Which, what's the, what is, what's going on? Bro, who are you, bro? Who is this? I'm kind of getting fake vibes, though. Why wouldn't she end the call? I don't know. I'm kind of getting fake vibes. I hope it was fake. I hope that was a fake little thing. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. But don't cheat. <laughs> uh, both dudes, please. Just on the left side. I've been on this woman for sir. Uh, no, still. Yeah, okay, okay. That's my wife, sir. That's your wife? That is my wife. Really? Well, I had no idea. I don't know what to say. I know what's the words. Can you please stand back near your vehicle, sir? Sure. I can't breathe this. I can't breathe either. So I'm going to need you to go back in your vehicle and you can leave. Let me go. Yes, yes, sir. You can leave before I get angry. Grab this off. Yeah, that's fine. Why am I getting emotional? Like, I was literally tearing up. Oh, boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. Literally. I have an Australian accent now. I was literally tearing up. Holy! I think it's the sad music that was playing in the background that really got me, and it was like... That's my wife, sir. That's your wife? That is my wife. Really? Well, I had no idea. I don't know what to say. This police officer's heartbroken. I'm like, oh my god, I would be too. I don't know how people can do that. Wow, it's really pulling on my heartstrings with this one. And he handled it well. Like, the police officer handled it well. It wasn't he was like, you're arrested! He's like, obviously, like, what are you arresting it for? You know, cheating isn't illegal. Maybe it should be. There'd be a lot of people in jail then. Never mind. Just did a two year tour in Afghanistan. How you feeling, bud? Glad to be home, man. It was long and rough. Just yeah. want to see my wife. We're happy to have you. Show our love to him. No. What the go, 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 hell go, go, go. are you doing? Go. You hurt my son like that? I, I don't even Get know. Get the him. up out of here. Nobody wants you here. Go. No, no, just go. You already got your boy out the window. You might as well just yeah. go ahead and go. Don't, don't want you here. <laughs> You done ruined our family, you oh tramp! He can do way better than that. He can do way, way better than that. That's just dirt. I'm sorry. I don't even know him! Then why would you let him? Why are you naked with him? Sorry, I'm getting really angry. We need to not get angry. Dude, he fled out of that. <laughs> he like jumped out the window. It's almost as if 
they've been preparing for this or he's done this before because he didn't even hesitate. He just straight up was like and jumped out. No hesitation. So sounds a little suspicious with that. The affair continued on and off until 2017. King filed a civil complaint against his R, citing an obscure law, alienation of affection. Only on the books in six states, including Utah, Hawaii, and North Carolina, where King filed his claim, it requires proof of a happy marriage and evidence that the love and affection between a couple was destroyed by the wrongful or malicious actions of the defendant. Oh, shit. He could actually get arrested for this? Or there can be a lawsuit? Oh, no, it's a lawsuit. It literally says. <gasps> Whoa, straight up. What? Oh, I guess you have to be married though. I was gonna be like, I had some people that ruined my relationship. I've been just stressed after. Can I file a lawsuit? <laughs> yeah, that is an unusual law. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I feel bad for the guy. I really do. Must have been really bad for him to actually file a lawsuit. Like he was heartbroken. Oh, I just wanna like gather all these people together and just give them a big hug. Like it's okay, Peaches got you, you know? <gasps> Sealed side looking in. A little peeping Tom. Okay. <gasps> oh, I what the oh. Oh, this is classic. Call the plumber. Somebody we even know. Somebody from, from the barbecue, huh? What the hell? I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? sorry? What do you want me to say? Well, I don't know. Something else other than I'm just fucking sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? sorry. You know what? Bullshit. And this <laughs> is bullshit. Is this bare ass running bullshit. by? Yeah. Okay, so I'm a little confused. Where is this camera? Is it outside? of the window looking in, but it can't be because the audio is pretty clear. So that's why I'm like, is this staged? Because why else would there be a camera recording in the room naturally? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I saw his bare ass running by the camera way too many times though. <laughs> and I was getting uncomfortable with her just being like, let me undress you. Uh, what was this ham doing? Not doing it for me. Uh... I just, eh, uh, eh. Uh. And the guy is just like, it's not even the plumber. It's a guy that we know from the barbecue. How classy. Like, who the heck says things like that? That's why I'm like, is it fake? Is it? <laughs> Wife of 10 years caught cheating? 10? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So, okay, so it says, so I need some advice. Leave her! Anyway, sorry. Uh, some serious advice. Okay, here we go. I am a 29 year old male. When did they get married? When he was 19? Oh, that's rough. Anyway, for the past week, I felt something was off about my wife, acting a little odd. I don't know how to explain it, but I had a gut feeling something was going on. Always listen to your gut instinct, that's what I gotta say. Uh, I woke up early to sign on to work and just felt compelled to look through her phone. Something, something that I do not do. Okay, that's good, he's a good man. I found that my wife has been sleeping with a guy for a week now. <gasps> I found pics and messages on Snapchat. Oh my God. Okay, I'm distraught. I told her immediately that I want a divorce. All day now she's been crying and begging me to stay with her. They'll do that! They'll do that, okay? People are manipulative and they'll be like, oh, please stay, I promise I'll never do it again. And then they will do it again, so don't trust them. Anyway, uh, I just don't think I could ever trust her again. That's what I'm saying. The problem is we have a seven-year-old girl together. Oh, my daughter is the love of my life and I really don't want her to suffer at all. Has anyone gone through this before? Do you have any advice? I love my wife, but I honestly don't think I could be with her anymore. Oh my God. Obviously they're not gonna see my video and they this is probably like an old post, so they already figured it out, but I hope that they did, you know, figure it out. It's hard when you do have a kid involved. Man, I feel like I'm Oprah right now, like giving advice. But you gotta do what's best for you in the end. It is a tough one, but like, like you even said, could you ever trust her again? Cause she could be like, oh, I promise it was a one time thing. I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Who knows if the span of 10 years she's done this multiple other times, maybe it's just gonna keep happening. You know, I'm so sorry. If the guy's not even watching the video. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And I'm giving him advice. Well, I'm giving you guys advice. If this is something you've ever gone through. I hope not. I genuinely hope not. No one should ever go through this. <laughs> What did you say? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? What did you just say? Nothing. Hold on, dear. What did you just say? Nothing. Listen, don't turn this way. Don't look at mama. What did you just say? I said, I, I 
What man's house? I understand. Who went to this man's house? Well, we got me and Mama and Zayden. When did you guys go? Don't leave him. When did you guys go? <laughs> Don't look at Mama. When did you guys go? Go. Um, you want to start explaining here? You want to start talking? <coughs> or what's going on here? Okay, Jimmy. It's not a big deal. Don't. Don't okay, tell, well don't ask me if you're going to Don't tell me it's not a big deal. Well, it's not a big deal. It's, it's 100% a big deal. It's just some... Uh, some what? Why you got to cut it off? I want to know. Some what? Some what? Some what? Wow. I need to know. Dude, the kids? I, I, I said to Mama, we're going to that man's house. See, honestly, I don't know why she thought that she could bring him to another man's house and then be like, hey, mommy's gonna go upstairs. You can play here. Uh, don't tell your dad that we were here. Clearly, kids say whatever the hell they want to. So I don't know why she's like, hey, shh, I'll give you candy. I don't know if that's actually what she did, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, the kids spilled the tea. Wow, okay. Also, why would you bring your kids if you're gonna go cheat? Like maybe get a babysitter? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not giving anyone ideas. <gasps> Was she doing the dirty? Huh? Uh, I'm showing you you're cheating on me. Oh! Huh? No. This is proof right here. She's cheating on me right now with this guy. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Bye. See you later. I'm gonna call the police. Call the police. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna go show the kids this too. <gasps> no, don't show the kids that. Holy. First of all, they're on like some weird, dirt secluded path. How did they even find her? Maybe find my iPhone. Maybe he was looking at her location. I don't even know. Props to him for finding her. What are you gonna do? What's the police gonna do? Is this again another part of that law? You gonna file a lawsuit? I don't know what's going on, but yikes. I think she was doing the dirty too. And in our number one spot today, let's see what we got. Is that Janelle? And Jason? <gasps> what's up, boss? Hey, bro, how you doing, man? All right, so you 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 with my wife? What's up, boss? That, that's my wife right there. I feel like I shouldn't be looking at All right, that. That's my wife. All right, I don't know what you're digging for, but that's that's my wife right there. Why is she I, I smiling? Divorce, okay. Will you give me a divorce? Will you give me a divorce, please? Please give me a divorce. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Anymore. Okay. I'll turn the I'll turn the camera off. All right. Here's the key. I'm done. All right. I'm done. I'm done with you. Okay. I love my daughter. That's the only thing that's important to me. Okay. Dude, leave. I have no beef between me and you oh. anymore. And Jason, I know you're a good man. It's, it's all good, man. This, this is not going to be seen by anybody except the judge. All right? So you ain't got to worry about nothing. All right? I'm sorry for disturbing you. Oh, my God. That was done so well. Holy crap. Sorry, I was touched by that. He's like, Jason, you're a good guy. Take care of my wife. I'm sorry. I just can't do this. I'm going to leave. That is how it should be done. No fighting. Wow. I'm on the side of the man that caught them cheating. Screw those people. The guy sounds like a really good guy, you know? He deserves better. He does. Like, the wife was smirking. She's like, oh, you caught us again. Because he literally said, I can't keep doing this. So it's like he's caught them multiple times. Um, Houston, I think we got a problem in the fruit section at Walmart. Was this during the pandemic? And they were like, you know what? be an astronaut. Meanwhile, it doesn't even, does it cover their face? Maybe it does cover their face. So maybe they didn't have a mask, but they had these Halloween costumes and they're like, it'll do. Plus they look cool wearing those. Cool. <laughs> wearing those around. My only thing is, is that if you've ever put one of these on, they have a fan at the back to keep it inflated. So if it was to protect themselves against COVID, they're just sucking in the bad air 
you know, the contaminated air that the mask is supposed to shield you from, so wouldn't do them any good. It wouldn't. I guess that's why they're on today's list, you know? So again, this clearly was during the pandemic, I would say the first month when people were freaking out and there was a lot of cases and they're like, oh my God, we need masks. And he decided to wear a party hat as a mask. Don't get a handkerchief, no. Don't use a scarf, no. Let's use a party hat. Hey, you know what? Maybe this wasn't even during the pandemic. Maybe it wasn't. This guy was just like, no, uh, I was at a birthday party and I came straight here. It doesn't even cover his nose though. What's the purpose? It's not saving you or anybody. Also, is he holding the Coca-Cola or his, is his hands in the case and that's part of his look, you know? Two little boxes for arms and a beak. Who knows anymore? It's Walmart, people. It's Walmart. Oh my god. I was like, what do they have on their face? I thought it was part of like a bunny mask. It's pads. It's menstrual pads. They're like, oh, we don't have a mask. Let's just put a pad on our face. Okay, cool, but that sticky stuff is gonna rip off your facial hair. Also, what brand is that? Cause that's staying on really well. <laughs> no, but seriously, you can't, I don't even know how they would breathe with like, it's a plastic liner on the other side and it's sticky. So when you breathe in, it would just be like, <laughs> you know, that's literally what it would do. So don't know how they worked that one out. I just say, use a scarf if you're that desperate, you have nothing, use a freaking turtleneck. But no, they decided to wear pads and the fact that the man willingly did it as well it said something it says something okay, this is kind of clever like i'm not gonna lie she looks crazy but that's clever like she's in her own isolated pod made from an umbrella and some drop sheets like those dexter serial killer drop sheets i just if she has to go pick an item does she have to go underneath the sheet or does she have armholes she should have armholes dude that changes everything i personally will not ever be seen like that but it's creative I'm not gonna lie it's pretty damn creative i wouldn't have thought of that is that a, uh, it is a diaper you know what? I think this one is better than the pads on the face. This one you could actually breathe. And it's probably like triple line, so you're good against COVID. I just hope it's a clean one. I hope they weren't out of diapers and that's why he needed to go to Walmart and then he was just like, ah, I'm gonna use the last diaper, which is a dirty one. I know, why am I thinking of that? That's disgusting. Like, I'm sorry, that's absolutely disgusting. Oh! Yeah! Clearly it's a clean one, again. If you didn't have a mask back then, there's multiple other things you could have used that are better than diapers or pads. We got Martha Stewart and we got Snoop Dogg shopping for that cooking show that they're part of. <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> Plain old mashed potatoes. They don't smell like this when we make them. <laughs> That's a look. That is definitely an interesting look. She should have been wearing a giant fork around her neck. First of all, where did he even get that from? Like, where do you get a giant spoon on a chain from? It definitely doesn't look real metal though. That would be hella heavy. Does Party City sell giant cutlery? I don't know. I don't know what the f that was. Why is he wearing it? Does he actually think that he looks good with it on? Uh, I mean, I love drumsticks. This guy clearly loves them. Or there was a heat wave going on outside. No, you know what this was? It was that damn planking challenge. Do you guys remember that? Back in like, when was that? 2011, 12, 13, 14? I don't even know. There was like, oh, let's see who can plank everywhere. And then people were just doing dumb crap like this. That's for sure what it was. It was the stupid planking challenge. And this guy was like, I'm gonna plank in Walmart's freezer. Also, I've never seen Walmart just have like a freezer out randomly like that to sell drumsticks. Normally it's in the ice cream aisle, but you do you, Walmart. You do you. Is this not Hulk Hogan? Is this not Hulk Hogan? <laughs> I'm like, Hulk Hogan? So I don't really understand what's funny here. I think it's literally because he kind of looks like Hulk Hogan. Not Hulk, this superhero. <sighs> You know what I'm talking about. It's the glasses, the bandana, and the white beard. I think that's why this is on today's list, but I can't lie. I like the bandana and the yellow glasses. I would wear them. He looks like he's kind of representing McDonald's, but up, 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 because look at the colors. You got the golden yellow for the arches, and you got the red for the 
blood that Ronald McDonald spills. Just kidding. But you get what I'm saying. Those, that's the colorway of McDonald's. He's rocking it, dude. He's rocking it. Whoever took this photo is just jealous. They don't look as sick as this dude, so. This is in the Walmart parking lot. <gasps> Shut up. I thought it was a horse. It's a cow. Dude, if I was at that Walmart parking lot, first of all, I think I would start crying. Second, I'd be up in that freaking trailer thing. I'd climb in there. I'd be with the cow. Maybe I'd even steal the, I'm kidding, I won't steal the cow because where is it gonna go? Look at it, it's a brown and white cow, so it's the ones that make chocolate milk. I'm just kidding. But look at it, oh, so cute. The cows are so cute, they're literally like giant dogs. Speaking of dogs, my neighbor just brought his dog out. I could hear him wagging his tail. Such a good boy. Good job. And in our number one spot today, let's see what we got. I like going to Walmart for fun. It's a small thing, Stan. What's your favorite thing to do in our stores? Steal. Uh, at least we know that it's Stan from Gravity Falls that likes to steal. Oh, Walmart, you set yourself up for that one. You, you did. You really did. Don't steal. We did a whole video on people stealing at Walmart. Go check it out if you haven't already, if it's up. If not, then spoiler alert, the video's coming. Don't be like those people. Don't steal. Also, have you seen Gravity Falls? Let me know in the comments below. I've seen a couple of episodes. That's about it. Hey, go get a job, man. Who? Me? Yeah, you. I might have better luck if I just call him right now. Yeah. If they're not, if they don't put me on hold. Oh, he went out the emergency exit. What did he even steal? I didn't see something to do with a car. But he only took one case. I don't know who these people are filming or how they knew that he was gonna steal. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what he stole. It looked like a little briefcase. Is it a car jumper cable? Maybe he's in the parking lot, forgot his wallet, and just wants to go home. And it's like, I just need someone to start my car for me. So he went into Walmart. Obviously, they're not gonna give him it for free. So he's like, well, I gotta get home one way or another. I don't know. I'm just making up this crap. But uh, don't steal, guys. Don't steal. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? What, what do you mean where am I going? Where's your receipt? My receipt's in there, man. Where? What are you? Who are you? Where's your receipt? Just leave my card alone. Where's man. your receipt? Leave my shit alone. You're stealing. I'm not stealing. You're ste Where's your receipt? What are you talking about? Where's your receipt? The fuck off my card, man. Where's your receipt? Get off my fucking shit. Where's your receipt? Get off my shit, man. Is he Canadian? Because he had a little bit of an accent there. Eh? He sounded Canadian, for sure. Like, eight. Hey. Hey, I just came from AA. No, not AA, AAA. Yeah, that's what I said. AA, eh? Oh, so you are with AAA. Oh, no, that's AAA. I just came from AA, eh? Huh? Was this Costco? Because only Costco has, like, those people that... I don't know if Costco's the same in the States or wherever you're from, or if you even have a Costco, but there's people that stand there and then they take your receipt, they look at your cart, and in, like, three seconds, they know if you stole something or not. And they'll look back, They'll check it off sometimes, well they used to give you a smiley face, then they'd give it back and then you're good to go. First of all, can we talk, like, how do they know you're stealing just by looking? Yeah, it looks right. How do you know? Anyway, and the guy was like, oh no, we never checked his receipt, because who's running after a thief? Also, he made away with a lot of goodies. Like, I saw those two cakes, like, he took the good stuff. Here's all my money to buy everything that I have received. physically leave the store before they can be like, you shoplifted. She's actually in the right here. She's literally in the right. There's like this whole thing that even if you see someone take something and put it in their pocket, they can't get caught or anything until they physically leave the store. Just saying, she's in the right. I hope they let her go. Again, how are people trying to get away with like carts filled with stuff? I don't know, don't steal guys. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know the protocol. What's going on here? 
Uh oh. Yeah, just take it. That's all you had to do is take everything out. <laughs> Dang! Oh, uh oh. oh. He's like, I know you're stealing. I know you're stealing. Give me that bag. He, wow. Again, she didn't physically leave the store, so he probably could get in trouble for that. But the fact that he just took her purse, actually, I don't think you're supposed to take the purse and physically remove it, but she was in the wrong. Like, she was stealing. And he's like, I know it. Grab this. I don't even know what she was stealing. Like, movies? I don't know. Pounds of meat? It sounded like hard. And I don't even know. But don't mess around with this guy is a cashier, because he'll catch you, and he'll take you down. Also, she's like, that's not respectful. You stealing is not respectful, but okay. One second. What was she stealing? Did she work there? Cause she ran away with a blue vest and Walmart people have blue vests on. That's what I was looking at. I was like, oh my God, is she a Walmart employee caught stealing? That's even, that's a whole other different video. One sec. Oh, never mind. It's not a blue vest. It's not a, I lied. She's wearing a baseball tee that has gray sleeves and a blue like body, so no worries. But also, do those bags belong to her? Because they kept the bags in the end. So unless she stole a bag from the store and then was going around putting more stuff that she stole in the stolen bags. Does that make sense? Like she couldn't even bring her own bags. I take that shit. I'm coming in this bitch to get my mother money back to tell where we all go. This is what I said, right? She hit herself with it twice. and some shoes. That's what she should have stole. I don't know what her her thought process was ripping those toys off the shelf because both of them came crashing down on her both time. And I, I think she got more hurt than the toys did and she got more hurt than the employees did. So, just saying. You shoplifting, you can't shoplift here. Yeah, why not? Why it's not? Not, yeah, why not? You don't shoplift here. You can go somewhere else, but not here. Fine. Let me go somewhere else. Give me You're my not going place. anywhere. You shoplift. Just stay right here, and we're going to call the police. You're going to get arrested. Yeah. It's real simple. You just hurt me in the parking lot. So That's I'll right. That works, too. His hunch is that the stolen goods are in her purse. He refuses to let go. The man's co-worker calls police. Are they coming? Okay. They're coming. Okay, first of all, that's not a Walmart, so I apologize. <laughs> Second, literally, she's like, yeah, let me go so I can go to a different store. Uh, honey, that's not how it works. Fine. Let me go somewhere else. You're not going anywhere. Fine, I won't steal from you guys. Let me know so I can go hit up the metro across the street. <laughs> honey, that's not how it works. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I bet she was walking around and people were like, damn, she thick. Damn! Meanwhile, she just had a bunch of stuff shoved in her pants and, and coat. I can't believe how much stuff was coming out of that. Like, that is some weird Mary Poppins magic bag type 
shit. Like she was pulling out way too much stuff there. Also when she was pulling out those like bottles of, I think it looked like hand cream or shampoo, she was reaching in between her legs and like pulling hard. Was that up her hoo-ha? Like... Oh! I wouldn't want those back. You have to literally disinfect them before putting them back on the shelves. That was all up in her private spot. I'm sorry. But I'm actually shocked of how much she managed to steal. She didn't get away with it. She would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. And your dumb dog, too. No vas a poner condiciones. Ah! Saca lo demás. Holy crap! What? Holy crap! First of all, those two things look really heavy. Second of all, how did she manage to hold her kid and stuff that sling with both of them? I mean, they saw her, sure. But that's, I can't lie, it's impressive. Not bad. Also, what are those? Are those the car starting battery things that I was talking about? What is everyone stealing from Walmart that looks like a lunchbox? Is it a toolbox? I don't know, but clearly everyone wants some of those. Oh my God, this story should be on the list. I literally was at Walmart the other day and there was this girl carrying around a baby. She was like carrying it like this. And I was like, honey, that is definitely not a baby in there. I didn't say that out loud. But she was carrying it like this. And I was like, oh, for sure. And then her friend was like, oh, let me see. I'm like, there's for sure not a baby in there. Cause if you have a baby, you're gonna like hold it nice. And you know, this girl was just holding it like, it was for sure not a baby. And they were just acting like there was a baby in there and stole stuff. Anyway, that's my story. And in our number one spot today, let's see what we got. <laughs> What's with people shoving it up their <gasps> their shirts and stuff? Oh my god, a full on iron? Another iron. How many irons do you need? How many irons does she need? She's like, oh yeah, my doctor told me I have low on iron, so he said for me to go to Walmart and get some. But they're really expensive. Honey, that's not the iron that they were talking about. Was she then like, oh, I'm just pregnant. These are my babies. You can tell that she's not pregnant. Like those are oddly shaped, but three irons? Do you own a clothing store business? And also they weren't even in the box. So when was she able to take them out of the box, take all the packaging off of them and then shove it in her pants and top? That's skill. So this is Chloe, no last name, it's just Chloe, and it's not Chloe Kardashian, so she was just a teen, and yet she admitted that she was spending 16 to 18 hours a day on social media. So she's just a normal teen. <laughs> just kidding, that's unhealthy. Uh, she told Dr. Phil that she even slept with her phone strapped to her hand? What? If she went somewhere, she would literally have an anxiety attack if she had no Wi-Fi. If her parents punished her by taking her away her phone, she literally would fight them for it. That is an unhealthy obsession. My. Precious. Holy crap. The fact that she sleeps with her phone strapped onto her hand, that's literally separation anxiety from an inanimate object. That is insane. I feel like I need to watch this episode after. Okay, so this man is named Dr. Phil. <laughs> Sorry. So it says, in 2013, Notre Dame linebacker Manti Teo was part of a catfishing scheme. Oh, he had fallen for a woman online but had never met her in person. It turned out to be this man who had fallen in love with Teo and pretended to be a woman. Oh my God, he ended up on the show to explain why he did it. Oh my gosh. Basically he said that not just his time but all his energy went into this. As twisted and confusing as it may be, yeah, I cared for this person. Bro, the fact that he catfished a famous person, like Notre Dame linebacker, let's see. Yeah, like what? A famous person fell for this? Like, come on now, come on. That's crazy that he went on to Dr. Phil and not 
the show Catfish. Okay, cool, we got this random man and this random, oh, random man and woman, and it's Elizabeth and Corey. The reason this couple gained so much attention on the show was that the husband controlled his wife. Oh, that's toxic. In many relationships, there's often a dominant partner. It doesn't have to be that way, sorry. This was the case for Elizabeth and Corey. Unfortunately for the couple, their relationship started to spiral, and that was why they found themselves on the Dr. Phil show. Well, on the show, Elizabeth explained that Corey needed to be king of the castle. She stated how initially she was attracted to that side of Corey, but then his need for control started to take over their whole life. Corey needed to check her phone records, monitor her social media pages, and even check her emails. That's toxic. That is an abusive relationship. I hope you guys know if anyone ever is like, give me your phone, let me check all your stuff. That's toxic and they have no right to do that, okay? So stand up for yourself. Don't be in a relationship like that. I don't like this guy at all. The fact that he was like, oh, I gotta be controlling. He's got some issues that he has to work on himself. Clearly he's very insecure and has trust issues. So screw you, Corey. Oh, I have done a video on this guy and he's very scary in the video. If you guys have seen any footage of him, like, oh, it's terrifying. Anyway, so this is Zachary Davis. Zachary, oh, I know what he did and it's absolutely disgusting. Sorry. Zachary Davis may have been Dr. Phil's most disturbing guest to date, yes. When he was only 15 years old, he bludgeoned his mother to death and he did other things to her, just saying. It's disgusting. The young man's mental health was obviously unwell during his interview on the show. He recounted his actions during the grisly murder of his mother as if he were describing folding laundry. Yeah, he has no emotion. He's just like, yeah, I did it. The interview disturbed viewers and gave them a rare glimpse into the personality of a cold-blooded killer. Zachary spoke to Dr. Phil in a flat, monotone whisper. It was obvious to Dr. Phil that Zachary exhibited symptoms of mental illness. Yeah, the whole time he was just like, yeah, I killed her. Yeah, so uh, I went upstairs and I hit her on the head a couple of times. Like, he literally has no emotion and it scared the bejeebies out of me. I'm like shivering just thinking of that. Oh, we got Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo child. And we got Mama June. Look at them. Wow. Where is Honey Boo Boo now? I want to see how she's doing. Mama June is unforgettable no matter what the context and her appearance on Dr. Phil is. The reality star mom came on the show to address several scandals surrounding her family. Mama June was accused of welcoming a man into her life after he was convicted and imprisoned. Okay. But she didn't get famous on Dr. Phil. She was famous on Toddlers and Tierras. I think that was the show, right? Honey Boo Boo Child. Oh my God. They're both characters. They're both characters. <laughs> This is Burke Ramsey. So Burke Ramsey's famous interview with Dr. Phil stirred up quite the controversy. The older brother of late child pageant star, John Benet Ramsey came to Dr. Phil to finally share his side of the story and he is suspicious. So he came to Dr. Phil to finally share his side of the story. We all know he knows what happened and is covering it up for his family. Anyway, Burke was the only member of his family to have never dressed his sister's murder to the public because some believe that he freaking did it and then his family's covering his ass. Okay, on the 20th anniversary of her death, he felt it was finally time to come forward and clear up some misconceptions surrounding the killing investigation. He looks guilty. He's got guilty written all over his face. Anyway, many questioned Burke's behavior during the interview. He awkwardly smiled, yep, while he described the events surrounding his sister's death. Many found this strange and speculated as to why he would act this way. Patricia, okay. <gasps> I think I know this. Patricia told her friends, I know it, Patricia told her friends and family that she was dying from stage three brain cancer. This makes me sick. And that's not the only lie she told about her health. She also claims to have lost 100 pounds in one week. Patricia says she's had more than a dozen strokes and she even took money from fundraising events for her alleged medical expenses. There's no evidence at all that Patricia was ever sick. Dr. Phil painstakingly reviewed her medical records with her to prove she wasn't dying. Even that couldn't convince Patricia that she wasn't terminally ill. Maybe I haven't seen this, maybe I haven't like heard of her, but I know that there was a case where, oh no, it wasn't this person, it was another one, that faked cancer, would shave her head, and cameras were like, oh my God, you know, they gave her a trip to Disney, all the news reporters, and then cameras were like, oh, can we come in and, and film you getting like radiation for like the segment that we're doing on you? And she would never let people come in because she was never actually getting treatment because she was never sick. That's right. You're a big fat phony. 
Anyway, people call her out because they're like, uh, that's not what I looked like when I was going through Kibo. We lost a lot of weight and you're looking really plump and I don't know, people are calling out. But in this case, it's the fact that no matter what, she thinks that she's still terminally ill, which is scary. Like there's something else there. Carla Perry. Carla's story is particularly tragic. After separation from her husband, Carla fell victim to a horrible online scam. Through social media, Carla began communicating with a person claiming to be Tyler Perry. Stop getting catfish, people. Carla faithfully believed that this person was the filmmaker and playwright, although her children immediately saw red flags. Yeah. Tyler Perry is a wealthy professional, but yet Carla received texts in broken English requesting money. Dr. Phil happens to be close friends with Tyler Perry. He confirmed to Carla and her concerned daughters that this relationship was no way real. Despite this, Carla maintained her story to the end of the interview. He should have been like, and let's bring out the real Tyler Perry. Come on down. That's sad. There's been a lot of people scammed by people being like, oh yeah, we're a real celebrity. Wait, stop. There was one that I saw going around the internet that was just like, hi, yes. It is me, Brad Pitt. I need money. I'm stuck in here. It was just, it was so bad. I got one because I'm a huge fan of Adam Sandler. So they're like, hi, this is the real Adam Sandler. I just, this is my private account that I'm messaging you on. And then they just wanted photos, you know, of me. And I was like, okay, Adam, uh, you go first. Send me a selfie. And he, he's like, I, so, I can't, I'm sorry, under contract. And I was like, hey, scam. I knew it was a scam, but I was gonna scam the scammer. Anyway, and in our number one spot, let's see what we got. Oh, that rhymed. Here we go, catch me outside. How about that? The fact that we made her a freaking millionaire baffles me. Anyway, so this is Danielle Brigoli, catch me outside girl. So Danielle's mom told Dr. Phil that her daughter was completely out of control. Yeah, and she didn't know what else to do. Danielle smiled as she bragged about stealing her mom's credit cards and car. She had no remorse for the anguish that she caused to her family. She also threatened to fight both Dr. Phil and the audience. She's like, come on, catch me outside. I'll take you too. Ah! So funny. Yeah, she got famous and then she was like a singer and going to all these events and now she's like a freaking millionaire. So like, what do I do? How do I become a millionaire? Do I just like start being disrespectful to people and then go on Dr. Phil and then become famous? Cause I'll do it. I'm just kidding. That's a long ass title. I'm not gonna be able to remember that. <laughs> Today, oh, I didn't introduce myself. <laughs> you guys know who I am though, whatever. Which one of these thieves did you think were the dumbest? That doesn't make any sense. Also, I thought that was a spider. I don't know if it is or not, but we're not going near it. 